Oh, welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at a game that's called Farthest Frontier. From what I understand, this is a city building RTS game. I haven't played it before, never even tried it, so we're gonna take a look at it together today. I hope that it's not gonna be terrible. It is still early access, so there might be some bugs or a lot of unfinished, unpolished features. That's totally expected. Uh, according to Steam, this game is actually supposed to be at least a little bit similar to the Abelian somehow. So I suspect that it's gonna be a combat element as well. Okay, let's set a new settlement. We have several options. Yeah, there are raids. What can I do set? Uh... This would be the easiest, I'm not gonna go for that, I'm gonna go for the middle uh, difficulty at first. Since I actually don't have any idea. We can choose that rain or we can leave it uh, as random. I think we should give planes a shot. I like large maps. Let's not do pacifist. We can even customize. I think we will keep it middle of the road. Let's randomize the seat a little. Life can be harsh everywhere. But in the old world, there was no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed, the ruling class would still collect the same share, leaving our children to starve. Hey, Finn, welcome. And if we had any coins, yes, I know. Well, a taxman would appear, demanding them for the crown. I hope you are doing well, possible. Well. The safety of their walls, and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave. We'd rather take our chances in the wilderness, seeking the promise of a new land, than starve to death in our homeland. So just the general narrative. Oh, ruling class bad. All right. This wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. If waste built up in houses leads to increased red populations and disease. Okay, so there's waste management as well. I never played this, so it's gonna be a first for me and for you as well, I guess. Uh, if you have any um, tips, you might share them with me. I think it's gonna be pretty intuitive because I've played plenty of games that are similar to this. However, I really don't have much of an idea what to expect. In terms of difficulty. Takes quite some time to load up. Some sort of town build a colony game. Yes, it is. It's supposed to be like sort of like banished, but not really. Uh, yeah, and that is raiding. Just come back.
they could have at least added some music to the loading bar screen since it's so long. I don't really have the worst of these either. Uh, okay. Can I do anything? All right, just load it up. Do we have a pause? Oh. Okay, town center. We finished scouting the surrounding area. Survey the land your villagers have explored and choose a promising site to construct your new town center. It's important to choose a location that's near resources you'll need to build a successful settlement. Things like clay, iron ore, and potential food sources. Okay. Hey, Liger. Welcome. The start town center. Can we move about? Yes. Looks like... There's a lot of food here. What's that? Mushrooms? Bird's nest? Nuts? Deer? This is a good space, I think. Okay, there we go. So let's pause the game. Let's take a look at the screen. So we have... This is a sick villager tab, so villagers can be sick or bedridden. Then we have population, age brackets, 9 adults, 3 adolescents, Dedicated 17%, fit to work 12. Villager happiness, two different categories. Work rate, birth rate, combat effectiveness, override. If you have low morale, it will affect these things. Uh, overall happiness, desirability, all uh, family. Food stores, meat, uh, protein. Meat, fish, smoked fish, smoked meat, eggs, grain, vegetables, beans, root vegetables. We have started with 100, 150 smoked meat as well. Greens, reserved vegetables, or pickles, I guess. We don't have any fruit from the start, and that is there. Okay, sort of complex. This is the year, like the end, spring. Logs, firewood, planks. Stone, clay, bricks, gold. Okay, so initially I suspect they will just construct the town center and then we can actually build things. Building menu, harvest resources, clear, manage walls. If we do harvest resources and then select something, sumac? What's sumac? I suspect it's gonna be when we actually get another, like, uh, how would you call it? Yeah, once it's uh, summer, these might actually be harvestable. Seasonal berries. Another season, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, needs wood. So let's take a look. Harvest trees. I've done some of these. Go to our citizens. You have different needs. That, warmth, happiness. Oh. They have inventory, I guess. Yeah, they have some stuff, right? Get it. Clothing, shoes, linen, clothes, and. Um, White clothes. Predator sighted. Or an animal. Carcass. <laughs> so I don't suspect we can harvest. Oh, somebody already died? I think. Is that a dead villager? Or is it just an animal? It looks like a human. <laughs> I might be wrong. I think we still have 12 people. So 
So let's let them do their thing. We should build a town center. There is speed options. Yeah. Alright. What's the wagon? Five weapons, tools, arrows, bows, smoked beef, vegetables, right? Would have to check. Yeah, we're gonna be at the center. I don't suspect anybody will live there really. It's just a thing you need to have. Maybe it's gonna have some storage space at least. It'll be kind of useful. These categories. I would like to have a tab like in Caesar rather than this. Yeah, we need a town center. Be able to get houses. Okay. Just gonna do something. Kinda lagged. Ultra Quanlas. Working. This is when we go our town, I guess. Next year. Okay, it can be upgraded for stone and wood planks. Like all garrison villagers. Alright. Take a look at the building. So how many people can live in a single house? Local constructed home that provides basic shelter from the elements, but will not protect against the coldest, coldest temperatures when supplied with firewood. Okay. Well, there is no indication how many people can actually live in there, so... Can we rotate the building? How do we rotate that? Rotate zoom camera. Up. Oh, Alright. So, these uh, places are supposed to be roads, right? Yeah, I think we will do two tower roads. Thank you. I really, I'm not sure, never played this, so uh, I guess we will start with one tower out and see what happens. Sounded good. So we're gonna have to have some houses. I'm gonna have four of them. Then we have roads. What's this? Graveyard. Mm, we are gonna need a graveyard eventually, but not just yet, I don't think. Storage. Okay, are gonna be important. Hunter. Yeah, I'd, I think I'd like a hunter. We sighted a deer over here. So I'm just gonna build a hunter there. Hopefully that's enough. Basic well. Wells provide clean drinking water. It would need stone. I don't think we have any stone yet, but we can probably excavate it. Firewood splitter is gonna be important as well. Oh, we also we also have underwater underground water deposits apparently. So the well has to go somewhere over here, which doesn't really make me happy because I need to plan this. I'm gonna build it here. No firewood, no houses, right? So it can have four people in it, looks like. Okay. Yes, we know we don't have firewood. It's okay. I think maybe the bird's nests are actually hunter's things. Collecting by forager, okay. I see. So since one house houses four people, we would actually need only three, but we will have four for allowing our population to grow, I guess. I'm not sure if there is any immigration in this game. That it might be that we need to get birds. Which might be a little tough. Speed the game up a little bit. 
out of state sources. I want stones. There are some of them, not a whole lot. Get these trees out as well. We are going to build ourselves a stockyard. So I suspect we will be able to uh, choose, pick and choose what resources do we want to be storage there. So for the food, it should probably be somewhere fairly close to our actual food sources. Which makes me think somewhere over here, but also fairly close to our village. I'm going to build that here. You'll need a forager. Just place him somewhere over there. Question is, do the people actually make roads by themselves? No, you need to make roads. Decidability and neutral. Yes. Start with the road. It takes work. Not great. Another house. We need the firewood splitter. It's already some light spring. All right. Yeah. Well, separate us for the summer. So it will probably take us a while to get all this done. Speed it up a little bit. A good thing to plan in the future might be. You might actually want your houses to be placed sort of inefficiently just because it's probably going to be necessary to get desirability things. It's gonna affect desirability as well. I have to place it somewhere out of place, out of, out of sight, out of mind, which means there. Let's take a look. Do we have desirability category? Decorations. Trees. Blanks. It's got gold. Alright. Right. You can see the impact actually by how bright it is. Spruce tree. Yeah, I, I don't think I have really done a very good job at making these houses like this. However, we could maybe make it so we can have a Line of trees or something, and then have another block of houses up there. Or alternatively, these people might be just our scraps living in a horrible conditions. I mean, as I totally suspect, I will do a lot of mistakes since this is my first attempt to ever play this game. So they did the road. More people wait. Uh, I wait for it to churn near a supplement amass for months of supply of food and six houses. Okay. You should be able to do it. I will want the desirability though. Means I have to plan for it. So let's do that. It's like the roads are constructed fairly quickly, that's good. Can we connect it up? Yes. No, oh, go away. Can we destroy a tile of road? On the metal tile, if possible. Doesn't look like it's possible. Come on, let me do it. Can 
Maybe this? No. Ah, oh, that's a drink. Okay. So we need to fight with need the hunters. We have a hunter here. They already are mm -hmm. doing something. But all the well. The well is done. together what are the stock out here yeah, we can probably set this to accept different materials right yeah that's not happening okay then I guess you'll just set it to accept everything for now I'm not even actually sure if we can impact what gets deposited. Oh yeah, you can flick this. Okay, let's just keep everything in here for now. It's our only stockpile anyway. They would like firewood. Oh, that's too bad. Not gonna get the firewood anytime soon. Let's get a road going there. Yeah, I know. We need purple to harvest more. Let's get some of these trees. They're still stuck going for wood. New villager. New settler. He actually got, yeah, just one, okay. Good. How many people work here? Is it just one? It looks like it, yeah. And it automatically gets staffed when you build it. It looks like the resources are piling up on this cloth and then he takes them away. You have some stone in there. It, I like that it's visually representative of what actually is stuck piled in there. I don't suppose it's gonna allow me to make this road. No. I know that fire will just slow. Should have this built. That was an okay predator sighted. Got killed by our hunter. So, what does the hunter produce exactly? Looks like it's tallow, skins, pelts, and meat. Good. What's that? Boar carcass. Alright. That's what it was. If it's uh, just a regular one or boar carcass. Different yields. Excuse me. Okay. So the fire would check. Just one person. Slot is disabled for the second one. Might actually want two people working here. The first looks nice. Yeah, I think the game overall looks great. For what it is, it is an all access game. I like the style. Let's get some of this wood. And we should have plenty of people, so maybe add just another guy and we have a gatherer so that should be helpful get us some random things from the forest gives me witcher vibes yes it does doesn't it but at the same time i don't actually think the people have been inspired by slavic uh, culture they look like from from the mm, from the intro it looked like Westernized uh, society, like yeah, you can even see the 
Blood Grinds, right? It's like British or... I think mainly British, but maybe also some French. Oh, we have different cultures. Okay. Yeah, I don't think these portraits are Slavic at all. This guy... Mm, mm, no, no. Pretty sure it's like Franco-British, early medieval to just in general medieval period people. But it's definitely, yeah, the outfits were definitely off. I think it's sort of strange because it wants to go for that medieval vibe, but it also implements people who are wearing like clearly <laughs> colonial era outfits, right? You'll see. Maybe there are fire arcs. I think I'm, I'd like to run it on low speed just to understand what the game is all about. I fully suspect we are gonna die this first attempt. I just want to like get a feel for it and what's the best, how to build things properly and stuff like that. There are wild goose flying. You can see the shadows. Can we see them? Yes. Nice touch. Yeah, we are struggling with wood. Is there a wood cutter by any chance? That is it. Resources? Saw pit. No, we cannot have a wood cutter. Fletcher. Continuous the harvest wood and stone. This is your woodcutter, I guess. There is no like woodcutter building, I don't think. At least not in the first year. So far for all uh, access, this has a lot of buildings. Apart from the defense, the defense seems really... Uh, not great. Oh, we have all separately, okay. Right. Yeah, I don't hate it. I think it looks nice. Yeah, you'll see how it holds up. Small American studio, apparently. Their previous titles are two ARPGs. That's strange. They went for this game instead of their usual stuff. Well, uh, clearly they know their stuff. Maybe they were inspired by other games in the genre. I think it's just not like obviously it's very much inspired by Banished and other games like that. It's fine, always good to expand the genre. I quite like the visual style. Also, each building has like flags of their craft or something. That's not really uh, like it doesn't make much sense, but it looks cool. Hunter. What about together? Does he have anything like that? No, it's just like a herb hut. So, can we finally build things? I think we should have some wood soon. Yeah, and firewood. No, they should have some. Should stop complaining. Freaking peasants. Got some of these trees. I think we might disable this guy from working as a woodcutter. Stocks are low. We have the hunter. There are some deer. Should continuously produce us food. How low are the food stocks exactly? We're basically to our last meal here. What about the gather? Does he have things? Oh, we should have built it a little bit further up, I think. Can he increase his work radius? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Can I get better? Oh, early winter. 
Uh, that's why they started to consume the firewood. Okay, I see. Food is gonna be an issue though. Certain level. I think we might have a uh, little cannibalism situation soon. Since the winter is just starting and our food is basically, you have eaten your last meal. That doesn't bode well. So it looks like you want multiple hunters and maybe even foragers before you actually build anything else. You do need the houses, but maybe going for six was a mistake, even though it's our job, like the uh, quest. Yeah, we would probably also need a smokehouse. I think this food might actually be spoiling as well. Yeah, we lost three months of spoilage. Or we will lose three, mo three months of food uh, due to spoilage. So this is months of food actually, this count is not like five pieces of meat, it's months of food. And three of them, yeah, are kind of spoiled. So, can you justify making a smokehouse? I'm gonna do it. I hope that the people will actually get around to doing that quite soon. So far they have been doing other things. Manage walls. Direct select to manage. Plot and terrain. So that's a thing. Uh, it's incredibly work intensive. But we started in planes, so we should be fine regarding the terrain. Are they somehow stuck cutting this? Looks like, like they have been cutting this for a very long time. No, it, it probably just takes ages to cut it. So what about the smokehouse? Is it just you deposit things in it? Oh, it has a worker. Of course it has, okay. So it should help us with the spoilage eventually, but clearly we are gonna struggle this winter. Maybe our hunter is still gonna find something. What about firewood? Is there an indication? Yes, we have 23 firewood. That's probably stockpiles or is it the entire city? Yeah, probably what we have in the entire city. And we have eaten our last meal. Well, that's not good. Late winter. Six people have arrived. They have plans to immigrate. We'll accept them. We will. Even though they're gonna have a tough time. Food production. Fishing shack. There is fish. Yeah. It's also sort of far. I'm gonna give it a shot. And I guess you'll get another forager because it seems like food is basically our main problem. Bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers. Market stocks houses and generate gold based on the number of houses in their work area. Okay. So we need to plan that market in mind. Does it give desirability? Where is market? 
amenities and services. Market, it wounds, soap pit, and a storehouse. Uh, is it the same thing that I would get if I upgrade to this? No, that one's bricks. It works differently in terms of storage, I guess. So first you get, I have to get this. Mm, let's build it there. Then we need root cellar. Reducing spoilage right there. The root cellar would be good as well. I'm gonna get one right next to our gatherer. And resources. So but it has to be it's industry, so it has to go here. Yeah, food is low. Mm, hopefully the fisherman is gonna solve it a little bit. I actually do have some wood to pop. Good. But we will need a bunch for all the buildings we plant. Maybe we add another harvesting order for a few of these. I think we'll need, it's not only protein, but we also need other kinds of things for the field. Mm. Like there's fertility right here. Let's make a field. Is it? Oh, let's just let them build it and then we can probably choose a crop. I think this game actually has something like a crop rotation mechanic, which might be tedious. We'll see how bad it is. They want food. They don't have a water source here. So wells need to be built everywhere. Where is the well? It's resources. You can have a well here. Right next to the root cellar. That's fine. What is about the desirability of things? More than anything else, apparently. So this is our storage barrels. Oh, if we get it barrels, it will spoil less things. But this is for items. This is for resources. This is for items. Alright. So they should just bring us things in here now. It's also for food, but food is... Better storage in the root cellar, I think. But it might be just for vegetables, I'm not sure. It wants stone. Take a look. There's stone. There is some stone there. 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 So it'll take them a long time to make this field, most likely. But we did get extra people. The field is gonna be good. Okay, there is firewood as well. 
Doesn't look like we have anything in here just yet. No. I would like them to just bring stuff from the wagon. So it's not there anymore. Storage car. Move the building. Okay. This gatherer should have something to do. That is deer. Did get the soap it. Two people working there, that's fine. They are not swimming in the wood. Probably got some extra. But they have tasks. Just takes a while, I guess. Yeah, these guys want to do well, so hopefully that's gonna be done soon. Let's get extra stone, I think there is a piece there. And here actually as well. We've already marked it. This looks a low, it's okay. You have the uh, root cellar. It's like it will get nuts in it. So the stuff from the forager can probably go there. Good. So... Do we really need this car? Or... I guess we'll keep it. Is there something in here? Yeah, there's bacon. Did we get any blind stone? Yes. So let's take a look. We wanted to build ourselves a marketplace. Let's do it. Does it affect desirability positively? Yes. Let's get the market in here. We'll have to set up a graveyard just to be sure we can actually take care of the dead if we have any. I'm not sure how quickly people will die, but I'm sure it's gonna happen eventually. So I think we would like to get a small graveyard somewhere over here. There's another deer pack and it's quite big. Could the smokehouse get even more? Stuff to smoke? Not sure. I have any spoilage. There's some fruit and nuts. It's gonna take a while for me to figure out what's the best like, approach to this. You probably want to concentrate your gatherers somewhere. Problem is, you can only have so many, right? Even though there is a lot of fruit. Yeah, if you have built like three gatherers here and then have a root cellar very close by and close by the housing, that would be great. And hunters as well, instead of fishing here with like two smokehouses, would work. I think I'd like another gatherer. So what about the housing space? We still have space for five people. Now we got two more. We have a kid as well. Might do another house. So what about the market? It wants planks still. And we are lacking food.
We have marked plenty of trees before. Uh, some of them are still working in the field. I guess it's terraforming actually. Or anything else. Or is it? I'm not sure. But it works exactly. Still thinking about if we should get another smokehouse. Okay, we have the market. A building where household goods are stocked by grocer and distributed to houses. Saving time for working villagers. Markets also generate tax revenue and increase the desirability of surrounding houses. Okay. I'm planning to give them some trees or something here. Strange that we don't even have like a woodcutter. So we constantly have to uh, mark trees to be cut. What about our root cellar? Is it stockpiling all the food? Yeah, they are bringing the bacon there. I think what would be good is if we could get another root cellar. Compost yard. Night Solomon collect human and animal waste, which is not that usable compost. You should build that. It costs 4 gold monthly, though. Probably more than we can afford. Not sure. Blur. Okay. Stop it. Get another root cellar. Over here. Okay, we are getting 6 gold monthly. Is it distributing any food? Yeah, it's getting them firewood and food. Different sorts as well. It has a worker, right? Yeah. But it's gonna improve the efficiency of everyone. Since they don't actually have to walk for their stuff anymore. The field is still getting dug up. It's gonna take a little while. I'm curious how, uh, how effective or ineffective it's gonna be. Okay, the graveyard is done. Good. What about our other stuff? It's probably gonna take them a little while. What's this? Storage is full. Is it finished products or inco uh, incoming meat? Or what both? I was taking another smokehouse. Might be good. Another villager though. I don't think we can support right now. Workshop where basket makers use below to make new baskets for workers. Baskets increase efficiency of your villager by allowing them to carry more. Sounds good on paper. What's the below though? Is it a thing that's on the map? I'm 
going to get the basket maker. It actually doesn't re reduce desirability. So I'm thinking we can fit it somewhere over here. Two children. Children are going to be a strain on our, econo on our economy probably. Like the, yeah, it's winter again. Next year we should get to farm, hopefully. So let's hope we can manage to get all the food. Let's spoil it. are accumulating waste so it will have to be taken care of I think might actually be forced to make night so man gonna require a monthly cost a big one but can you do also it's incredibly undesirable as you might imagine gonna build it here You don't have stone. Ooh, is there any stone anywhere? Bits and pieces. Market. I think we might need a Fletcher soon. Can we see arrows? We have 40 in here. Is it for soldiers or do the hunters also use it? I think somehow the hunters are not using the arrows. Our wood is low. Not good. Hope the villagers can collect some more. We probably do have a bunch of them doing other sorts of stuff. Can we actually see a uh, breakdown of our laborers? Professions. Laborer 4, now 5, okay. And if we take a look at the population, we have three infants, eight adults, and twelve adults. So twenty of them are working. But we do have a lot of people that are working on things. Yeah, hunters, grocers, foragers, fishermen, farmers. Three farmers here, that's it. Closing the strain. Hey Maris, welcome. Welcome to Farthest, farthest Frontier. I haven't had any deaths yet, but it's gonna inevitably happen because... I, for, I'm playing this for the first time and I feel like I'm mismanaging things horribly. Like there is certainly a way to build things more effectively. We actually have the gold, I think. Take a look at desirability. It's expensive as hack. Well, hmm, plaza. Oh, you can have freaking plaza. Part of the experience, yeah, probably. I think you are right. Yes, there are different biomes and different 
like elevation so this is planes so it's fairly flat but you could play somewhere where you have to terraform a lot which costs a lot of work so if you are experienced at the game you probably should opt for the more difficult ones Puzzles <laughs> this works so much better, yeah. It's like, you know, you've been working very hard, you've been collecting all these resources for us. And when I've been forcing you to work. And now let me just squander all of your precious time and labor on building a nice flat piece of paved road. That you can walk over like two times a day. What do you say? Your favorite biome in games? Mm, it's gonna be central because it's similar to the place where I live. If you go into the check forest, it's gonna look somewhat like this. You know, it's rarer and rarer to actually see trees that are not pines because pine is the best for timber industry. So our biggest forests that are actually used for timber are actually like overwhelmingly fine because it grows fast it's very straight so great for selling and that's the only reason for it it's also why we have problems with this bug that burrows into trees and it favors pines and it's able to devastate the vast swaths of forest if it's not uh, mixed with leafed trees Dark your minds. <laughs> Singular pieces of paper that are surrounded by much and require daily cleaning or extinction from the dirt parts. <laughs> yeah. They are gonna have to build them. Not build yet. Take a look. Harvest. No, we cannot harvest more. We have told them to do it. It's taking a long time because we don't have enough people to do it. Might be overproducing food, actually. I think we are. Also, this farm. Yeah, is it gonna be done at the center or... These three people could have been doing so much other work. But it felt like... Just having people eat protein and no vegetables or fruits would be bad. And the gatherers are getting some nuts and fruits, but it seems like it's never enough to really compare to the meat sources. So I guess the goal is to get them a somewhat balanced diet. For everyone, yeah. Basically, right now everybody is doing like paleo, but not really because we are using smokehouse. have space for five extra people it would be great if we could get immigration yeah this guy is full it's a problem i'm gonna have to get i think overall just bad idea to expand in this direction with the hunter should have just made one here instead how does gold look it's just full. <laughs> it's kind of funny it would be great if the gold was not actually a resource like that, it just doesn't make any sense. Instead, like, maybe a few coins that you would just keep in a, your town hall or something. But this is, like, absolutely hilarious to me. Like, gold bars. <laughs> How did you get that? And just summoning them out of thin air.
Yeah, and dumping them as. <laughs> I thought cards would have would be tricky to move through this mud. Yeah, probably, but that's like how it was done in medieval period. You didn't really have paved roads, especially not in villages. So it works. It just requires more maintenance. To have it run away with, yeah, that might very well be the case. But I just find it hilarious, like, you can see this amount of gold from, like, 20 people that are just, yeah, because you, some guy picked, like, a handful of berries and brought them to your doorstep. You just had to give him, like, three gold bars. <laughs> it's not the point, it's the point of they should not exist. <laughs> They should be only able to like have few coins from the continent on them and that could be used as sort of internal economy of the village if there was enough money but this is just hilarious Aztec Mexico <laughs> yeah people are building houses out of it <laughs> it's like mm, wood is so tough to get yeah, we don't have ranged ammunition. Can we dump the arrows? So how does this work? Can I just deposit things? I would need a Fletcher. Not that expensive. Problem is, in general, like people, you don't have enough. We've probably cancelled my farm, it's useless. Everyone knows that medieval Europe only had gold in us currency. Months and months became a thing. Yeah. Sure. Our various villager professions. We are not farmers. Just get back to work. Like regular work. Not this thing. Did we queue up this stone? Yes, we just don't have people to gather everything. It's in all access, so I guess they are gonna rework that at some point. I would hope that they will rework that. <laughs> well, speeding him up a little bit. I'm going to only keep maybe one sawmill guy. And my hideous plaza is not built yet. I demand the plaza to be built immediately. If that is plaza, I think I'm not gonna build any like of these things like I did before. It's useless. Let's abuse the plaza. The only disadvantage would be if they are slower to walk on than the other paths. But I don't think that should be the case. I feel that plaza just isn't worth living here. Clear line. We have new immigrants and born people, five infants. It's gonna put a massive strain on our economy, but we should handle it. Let's get another house. And actually add another one here, I think. This road could be actually adjusted a little bit. I think we are gonna do it. So just put a house there. So this is gonna have to be readjusted. I don't really want these two buildings anyway, I don't think. These long term. Smokehouse is absolutely chock full. Sorry. We have a basket shop. What does he want? Willow. How do you get Willow? Does he, like, 
get it himself or below is a tree I think like yeah I think I know what below looks like but I just don't see it anywhere is this a map that doesn't have any pillows? <laughs> Make me incredibly sad. Where is the guy? Can we like go? Wondering. Unable to work. Ah, uh, then don't work. But how do we get below? Search. Suppose like willows grow nearby water, at least that's what I think. Greens. Get the stone. I'm gonna have to maybe search for this because I have no idea. What about our Fletcher? Does he want? He makes it from straight up logs. That's good. Mm, exploration. Explore there. Maybe you will find a below. Biggest treasure. So did we build the hideous plaza? I think this is the plaza. Yeah, but they don't really have any walk speed benefits and they are built below the mud road. So we still have the layer of mud on top of it. Okay. The main thing is that it will affect these people and make them go like, wow. I gotta summon more gold bars because of this. This is awesome. Ugh. I need to find a pillow. Uh, maybe I'll I'll just take a look. doesn't say the game is early access and it's fairly new so there is not man much information on it can we click on it no there is no like they can anything right Hmm. 
It's very strange. I would imagine that Willow would be nearby water, so let's just try to find it, but... Oh, Willow bush. Who does gather it? Is it a gatherer? Yes. It is a freaking gatherer. Okay. It's insane because it's gonna have to be all the way over here, which is gonna make his life a living hell. Mm. Another plaza. I'm thinking maybe we give this another go on a different map. As we know the basics now. This was my first ever attempt to play this game. Generally it didn't go very well. Like nobody died or anything, but... It just works a little differently than the games I'm used to, so... I think I made some pretty poor decisions overall. Especially in regards to this farm. It's very bad. Is there a way to find out how many heights we have? Hello. No. Resources and storage. 26 belts. Okay, right, this is the tab I was looking for. The two tallow. 17 tools. 3 weapons, 1 bow, 20 arrows. Yeah, I think we are gonna give this another go. I'm gonna pick a different map, maybe. Let's take a look at how the other ones look like. Whatever, pick something. Take a look. So the lowland likes are the easiest, apparently. This is hard. This might be tough in terms of terraforming. Gonna keep it medium. Yeah, let's take a look at the Alpine map. safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city and so some of us decided that it was time to leave that we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness 
seeking the promise of a new land, but starved to death in our homeland. Okay. Take a look at how the map looks like. It's alpine. It might be very bad. In which case, I might just go for the plants again. It's medium difficulty, so. Until I want to do the likes, since they are apparently very easy. I guess because of all the water. There will be plenty of fish and everything. Okay, in a second now. Loading times are quite large. I suspect it might be because of the map size. Most likely. So this is taking a lot of time to load up. I think uh, last time it was also like this. I'm not sure if it's relevant to the terrain type you choose. Might be longer for the alpine because of the elevation. Mm. Could have added at least added music to this loading scheme. Also noticed some slowdowns when you build a new building or whatever and the tasks people. So optimization is probably not great just yet, since this is early access. I suspect I might have to work on that. Because if it slowed down when I had like 20 people, imagine how it would run if you had like 400 people.
and let me take a look at something. I don't think my PC is struggling with this at all. I have quite good PC. It's just the game isn't optimized at all. Yeah, I'm like at 13%. <laughs> okay, just let it take its, take its course. I tend to think that it might have been bugged out or something because this is like an insane amount of time to load something up. Hey friend, the computer, welcome. How are you doing? Hopefully it's gonna load up soon because it has been like this for at least like four minutes. Uh, it's quite a long time for the loading screen. You're doing well. I cannot do anything. I would have to completely shut the game out and then load it again. I can do that. It's just if it's gonna take the same amount of time and we are very close to loading it up, I'm gonna sit here for another 10 minutes. But I think it's fair to assume that this is probably a bug. Uh, like it's just a little obnoxious. Let's just shut it off. Let's start it again. Yeah, it's Great Entertainment uh, who made this game. And Great Entertainment actually made Grim Dawn, I think. It's a very different game than what this is. Try the Alpine terrain again. Standard. Take a look at it. I just want to see how different this map is. Well, at least if they made it so the cutscene or the intro plays over the loading bar, it would actually make sense. Like this, like. Uh, I think maybe the Alpine terrain is the problem. Just wanted to take a look how the new map looks like there. I feel like expect this to get stuck in the same spot for minutes on an end, like last time. Okay, I'm gonna go grab something. Probably. If it doesn't load up. I think it's gonna get stuck here. This is the exact spot where it got stuck last time. I'm gonna be right back.
Okay, I'm back. So it looks like it loaded up. Good. We finished scouting surrounding area. Yeah, I need to pick a spot for our town center. Let's take a look. So Alpine means we have these huge hills. It's gonna impact our construction quite a bit. Hey, you do. Welcome. Enjoying the game. Uh, it's not bad. However, there are some issues. It's early access, so some things could definitely be improved. I to say that I think we are gonna pick the plants again. I just wanted to see how the alpine terrain looks like, but this would result in us having to do like a whole bunch of terraforming, which I don't think I can justify. Maybe if I get experience in the game, or actually we get like updates to make the game run a little better, I might consider doing the other terrain types, but. For now, we just have to pick the plains. It's the medium difficulty map, so I'm not gonna go for the lakes, which is the easiest, but I don't think I can handle the alpine or the arid shrubland just yet. Yeah, uh, it's like... Mm, I'm thinking how to describe the game. I think if you ever played Life is Feudal Forest Village, sort of similar to that. Yes, medium. This is the first time I'm playing this. So. Yeah. And the game isn't like that beginner friendly to begin with. So sure, if I get good at it, I would be totally up for playing it on hardest. But like this, I just <laughs> you don't even know how the events work and everything. So not at all comfortable with that. Let's just skip this. Hopefully the plants map is gonna load up faster since last time it did. I imagine this game will actually be great once it's done and once we get mod support for it. Currently it seems a little rough on the edges. And I, I'm not sure how it's gonna run when we get to like hundreds of people performance wise. Might be pretty bad. Come on, load up. I think we are going to play some Caesar later this evening. We gotta have to find a suitable map to play. Yesterday was absolute dumpster fire. Is it stuck again? It might be. I think this is the point where it usually gets stuck. 
I'm gonna give it a chance, but if it doesn't load up in like a minute, I'm gonna have to shut the game out and then load it again. I think it actually is the same sort of thing that happened last time where uh, if you load this uh, second, generate a second map, it's just gonna bug out. Never create the map. That is the thing. Just go away. Let's reload it. Come on. Transport wagons can help you efficiently harvest and haul resources from distant work camps and mines. So that's what they are used for, I guess. The first one you get is like, it's very strange. I would like it to deposit my stuff in the warehouse. And from what I could tell, there was no button for me to allow to transfer resources between the wagon and the warehouse. So it felt really strange. Maybe you need to do it somehow, I just didn't figure it out. Might be possible. Since we restarted, it should probably load up this time. It would be marvelous. I bummed out by looking at the loading screens all the time. Yeah, I'll make it happen. It's doing something, at least it's working this time. Apparently. Yeah. Now another loading time when it actually spawns the things in the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a town hall. Let's take a look. Is there a lake or something like that nearby? That is deer. A lot of gathering things around here. More deer, but in terms of water, don't really have any ability to fish. Might have to just settle somewhere. Else, even without water, that's fine. Usually, a mountain there. Let's take a look. There is deer, more deer. The hunters and gatherers could be around here, pretty effective. And our main housing should be in this area. Then, is this flat? Sort of. Can be built up on. Gonna slap our town hall. Actually, let's make it so that the entrance is to the side. Build it there. Let's move the wagon aside, I guess. 
No, we can just leave it. It's directly outside. Take a look. Harvest resources. Gonna do trees. It's directly around our town center. Let the people do it. It wants 18, uh, 18 wood. We're gonna have to wait until they do it. It happened pretty quick. Once it's done, we'll have to set up our first houses. They also changed clothes. So it was winter when we arrived. So they had coats. Now they have like shirts. They do have coats and shirts, right? We just switch. Means we probably will want to uh, get our own clothing before children grow up. We don't start with any children. Some adolescents, but they already contribute to the society at large, so that's good. I just want some work to happen quickly. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look. Housing. Houses. Gonna do uh, directly in front of our town hall. It's actually slightly desirable, I think, to build directly around it. So, I'm, I think maybe just building Anno style blocks is good. It might be better to do sixes, though. I think so. Let's do sixes this time. Let's start with four houses. Gonna set up our forager. So we have plenty of stuff. What's this? It's boar. And is there deer as well? I'm pretty sure there was deer. There and one should be somewhere around here as well. So gather. This is a good place for one. I'm gonna actually, I think, do two of them side by side and then have a root cellar nearby there. So we want that road to come there. These together is gonna be there. Start with one, that's fine. And a hunter. Do the same thing about this offshoot. Still will need a bunch of wood. We have queued up all these trees, but we're gonna have to expand that a little bit. And let's start getting some stone just a little bit. Resources. I'm gonna have to build them a well. Fortunately there is underwater underground water here. Where do we build our well? I think our first one can go here. One of our guys might have been attacked by something. Yeah. Better to build a house. Good. We need to start setting up a road.
main thing we need for now is just wood. Need to keep in mind that is a clay deposit. There. We don't necessarily want to build over that, I don't think. Need to think about where do we build our industry. I think it should be to the side on either here or here. I think here it would be better in general. Keep some distance. the priority speed the game up a little bit I need them to do the well But they insist they do. they want to build the houses first. It's okay. They're going to finally do it. Yeah, it wouldn't happen if we really built this. So I increased its priority some time ago, but just build too many things at once and they want to construct them all at the same time. Just build it, what's the problem? You are carrying wood all over. <laughs> Do it. <sighs> Four people are supposedly working on it. Somebody just brought two pieces of wood. No, they want to cut a whole tree for it. Okay. Somebody's probably going to die because of that. Now we have a forager and a hunter. Okay, the bell is done. Predator has been sighted. Villager is being attacked and it's gonna die? Most likely, right? He has a very little health left. Okay. At least the bell is done. If the hunter I have to get her oh, next up wood splitter. I have to do a stockyard. The yard is for raw resources mostly, so it's gonna have to go nearby this. I'm gonna build it. Mm. Here. I'm gonna go for another house. Not one. Or well, just one for now. Fine. 
Give them roads. Okay, get a covered. This guy is also slowly recovering, I think. Guy that got attacked before. Firewood. We are in the middle of summer or late summer. So we might have to do two people working on that. Problem is that we don't really have that much wood. Process. Did our gatherer collect something? You should have, yeah, greens for to do. Let's go to bed. I think. Collecting them here. It's very close for him. But we'll want to give them a root cellar fairly close by eventually. We have the stockyard, we have the firewood cutter. Still not enough wood to really start getting some firewood, which is dangerous. To allow our people to get some wood into the storage. Before the winter really starts. Immigrants, good. Storehouse is good, but 25 wood is not something I can get right now. Start cutting around here. Then let's start getting some stone as well. Villager succumbed to an illness. That's not good. Where is our uh, services? We have to build a graveyard. Where do we build it? It has to be somewhere that doesn't really disturb anything. I think here is not a terrible spot for it. I'm gonna do a very small one. Another predator. Well, that's not good. You're gonna die. You might. Hide. A lot of predators this game. Rabies. They can protect from rabies with uh, hide coats. They did have them, but didn't help in this case. So some people are going to die, that's fine. At least we did get three immigrants right off the bat, which is more than I got last time, so it will offset that a little bit. Do we have any spare wood? Yeah, so let's get another firewood cutter. Just let them stockpile some wood. Yeah, we need to do that. Just gonna be done. It just needs something. Yeah, remove the wood and then work. I think they are coming there to do it. Yeah, a lot of it is gonna spoil. We cannot really cure it.
getting a storage root cellar might be good. I have to figure out a place for it. I think that is fine. I don't want to destroy the trees or the mm, bushes. Got a root cellar. I'm gonna connect this with a road. Graveyard is done. Somebody is already buried here. Apparently. Yeah. There he is. The other villager might also succumb to the rabies, I suspect. As I said, that is expected, unfortunately. So, firewood, I think. Yeah, just keep one guy working here. And then let's take a look. Storage. We'll build ourselves not a stockyard, but storehouse. Storehouse actually can also accept other resources. I still think we are gonna build one here. And we'll need a salt pit. Salt pit has to be somewhere over here. If we built it here, there would be a one spot left for a road or something. Be good for the industry. Alternatively, we could just build it over here and then have that come out like that. I don't really want to do it. Just set it up there. Next year we'll need a uh, smokehouse, I think. Take the root cellar. Predator sighted. Villager is being attacked. Not <laughs> Constantly getting some deaths. The last time we didn't have a single death. Now we lost like three people already. Oh, well, that's not good. If you get on more immigration, it's gonna solve it. And for I don't but obviously that's not good. Plan the roads a little bit. So we can actually plan around having things around here. You added this to our wish list. Uh, yeah, it might be in uh, a sale at some point. Might want to pick it up. It's also early access, so eventually the game might get better. It updates. Yeah, it's not bad. I also like it. I like the visual style of it and everything. The only problem is just sometimes it's sort of jank. But yeah, even the little details I like, like you can actually see the light from inside through the gaps in the logs. Even though this would be like hideously ineffective in terms of keeping warmth inside. And uh, I don't see any smoke coming from the chimney, so looks like they are not really burning anything. And yeah, this flood would do very little to keep your warmth inside as well. But they are burning uh, firewood, it's just not showing any smoke. So, herd cellar. What's that? Anthros haven't found a game for a while. Yeah. Uh, they did hunt all the boar. Move their hunting radius. I'm s I think there is deer here. Just don't know where it is, so let's 
do a scouting thing. And in the meantime the hunter can actually try to hunt some of these deer. There is smoke? Where is it? Maybe they only mm, do have smoke once the people actually go inside their houses for a time. Sometimes they do it, it's like night time or something. Okay, it's new year. Yes, there should be an RP tomorrow. If nothing changes, nobody actually said anything is amiss and everybody has confirmed their attendance. We should have an RP. Some extra trees cut it down. Another predator, okay, it's, it's gonna kill a guy again. Oh yes. He's dead already. Uh, how do we solve this? I'm gonna need another forager for sure. There are things to get there. It's gonna be mm, a little far from this. But if we just get another one, that would be here. It might be better. There's gonna be a lot of other stuff here as well. Go away. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, smokehouse, yes, but the hunter has problems getting the deer. Did we explore yet? No. I'm gonna set his gathering point there. We have built our sawmill, right? Yeah, two people are working in it. How are we doing on professions? Nine libraries. Let's do a market. Need to build it right here. And you're gonna get another forager over here. Might need another root cellar nearby him, but it's fine. You'll also miss some stone, so let's queue up another part of this. You did manage to get an animal hunted. Good. Problem will be, I don't think we have willow anywhere. We also need another well. Get one. Right there. I'm gonna have to do this ASAP. Set exploration. Need to find below. Housing capacitor seems fine.
Another predator. Okay. <laughs> this map is somehow incredibly more dangerous than the last one, even though it's the same sort of map. <laughs> gonna get absolutely shrecked. We're both gonna kill two people? No. Well, that's what it is. Uh, it's not like I can do much about that, so... Let it happen. Yeah, accept the people. Did we build a market yet? Not yet, it wants planks. We have some. We can get another guy working on that, but we also need wood. Yeah, you know. Market is already being constructed. There is actually a deer there. A lot of berries. And there are some greens. Get a road going there. I get another forager. Fortunately, it seems like the hunter really has a tough time finding any animals most of the time. I'm gonna set his hunting point there. And get a hunter that would be pretty effective somewhere around here. Maybe can we destroy that? Just go away. Yes. Like that instead. Should build a smokehouse. It's really not a desirable thing, but it can be right next to the furniture, that's fine. Market is still not done yet. We'll have the planks soon. How are you doing on professions? You have done laborers, that's quite a bit. Yes, there is combat. There are raiders uh, that could kill your people, steal your stuff and go away. And there is also an enemy, like there are enemy factions, like lords, that will demand your presence to be paid for. So they will also declare war on you if you have a city. Get several houses. Let's gather this. Oh, yeah, the stone is queued up. Market is done. Good. Let's 
gonna give us some gold. Let's take a look at decorations. Gonna do plaza. This one would affect three of them as well. Looks like the boars are actually somewhere else, they just ran into the forest. Have to find them now. It's a good gatherer location as well. Eventually might expand there. But first let's take a look. Storage. Gonna build a root cellar somewhere over here. Connect that up. Yeah, we are lacking some food. Our food is also going to spoil because we don't really have a smokehouse yet. So yeah, it's gonna have to be done. Can we drop off our resources from the wagon? They might carry it from our docks if we do this. Just show some stuff for a gather, but mm, this is our industrial zone, so I'm not gonna do that. Gonna be winter soon. is now running. It's gonna take a while for it to get its fire to do, I think. Might be a slight problem, even though it's not that far off. Yeah, he just fetched it. You'll need to process the food we are getting from the hunters. Plaza on this side is built, the other one isn't. New villager immigrated, it's just one guy. But good. So uh, did we find any below? I don't think so. Yeah, there is deer here as well. Looks out low because we didn't have any chance to smoke any of the meat yet. Now the smokehouse should be running. Yeah. It's not that bad really. Five months of food. Make some bacon. So we can actually preserve it. Some greens as well and fruit. So they'll hold up. What about the... Uh, yeah. The root cellar has some meat in it. The other one hasn't been built yet. We 
it is set a gathering these things and do we have any wood there yes let's get it the motor houses have been done Yeah, we had some spoilage. You have to get some battles, but I think these are a little advanced thing. You know, to really catch that at the moment. Lacking a raw wood. Heat it up a little bit. But they are actually going home. Now they will work again. Predator means I'm gonna lose a villager most likely. Would need several to fight, yeah. Okay. Uh. It's tough, these wolves are incredibly tough. Just enable that. Not sure if they ever fetching anything. Stocks will be fine. Some bacon over there. You should get more. Gonna be spring soon, hopefully. Got an immigrant. Love the running animation and how the wolf chases into the town square. Yeah. The predator attacks are hmm, a little strange. I also didn't have uh, basically any attacks last time. And now we had like insane amount. And it was the same map, same difficulty, so not really sure what's that all about. Might be some issues regarding balance, maybe. So what do we need to upgrade our... Ah, oh, town center. Thirty villagers. You should get that eventually. How many people have died so far? Four. Yeah, let's just watch them do their thing. I'm considering another smokehouse. I'm not sure how are you doing on raw food. Yeah, I guess we could support another one. Let's take a look at professions. 12 laborers, yearly taxes. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need more gold. I think I'm gonna do another smokehouse. But also another hunter. There are deer in the forest there. So let's take a look at this forest path. And did we find any pillow? Well, important we do. Dear. Greens. 
Doesn't look like it. Let's drop some exploration flags again. This is really far though, so even if there is some, it's gonna take a long time to actually get there. Get Fletcher. Get some wood. Just gold. Something. Decorations. Even go for a shrine. But it's 35 stone. Don't really want to do that. Get these guys in at the plaza. And there. Going to move this wagon there. Predator. Gonna be pretty bad. Need some people to help out, otherwise, this one's gonna die. Get a hunter helped out. He shot it. He's chopping it with an axe. Everyone's so happy, even though multiple people have died. Shouldn't really complain about that, no. The smoke houses gonna help us preserve more of the food. Food seems like it's stabilizing now. Take a look at this. Yeah, it contains many greens. Makes sense since we have two gatherers. I'm going to slightly shift this guy's thing. No, let's not do it. Okay, we have much more people, 29 now, which means we are just missing one to be able to afford the upgrade, but it's gonna still require quite a bit of stone, which we don't currently have. We okay, have designated some stone to be mined, but it just takes a while, even with the amount of laborers we have, so just give it a moment, pile up the resources. They are building the Fletcher. I would love to get the basket shop. Cobbler. He produces juice from all skins. Get him. And Tamari. Produces clothing and it's filthy. So it goes in our industry. Does it have an arrow? Doesn't look like it. Gonna build a tanner here. I'm gonna have to give it another bell though. That's bell. Fortunately we can have one here. 
You know, probably take them a little while to construct everything. So are there any animals here? Or could hunt them? I think food should be fine though. A lot of eggs. What about our hunter here? I'm gonna shift his focus to hunt these deer. And I guess I'm gonna get another forager's shack. very low currently. They should mine some though, eventually. They have time. Okay, yeah, they are missing arrows. We can fetch some from the wagon, I think. But we need to be sure we are making more. And we are. Good. What about our cobbler? We will start making that. Let's take a look at our resources. We have 19 skins, so that's okay. I think I'm gonna scrap this hunter. Reposition it. Okay, he had gained the immigration. Unfortunately, I don't have. What is it? 25 stone? You're gonna have to stockpile it, and we also need planks. So it's gonna happen eventually. Could even get another gun, planks. I don't think that's gonna be necessary. Have a lot of smoked meat. Good. This hunter is getting dismantled. I get a hunter right there. This guy is hunting down here. Could shift him as well. Gatherer is gonna gather these eggs and things. They're gonna get another one around here. Shoot him by one more tile. Might need another firewood cutter. 
to go to our thunder. Yeah, he has been making some clothes over there. Cobbler. Well, take a look at our resources. Do you have any spares? Yeah, spare shoes, spare clothing. That's good. What are these? Hide coats. So, if we want to make the regular clothing, that's probably gonna require something else. Let's take a look at decorations. Gonna give these guys a single plaza. I'm kind of want to spend stone, but it's gonna be good to keep them all in desirable areas. Something spoiled. Berries. So this guy. I have to shift his focus on there. strain on our food supplies. How are we doing in regards to the town hall? Still need, yeah, still need some stone and planks. It's gonna happen. I'm getting more as we speak. This guy has hunted quite a bit. I'm gonna take a look at how many resources it produced throughout the year. Quite a bit. What could be better? We're gonna shift his thing a little bit. Might even consider another root cellar, but for now this is sufficient. This might actually be time to start thinking about getting a first field. It's like we built on fertile area, but there is some over here. Some greens on it. Gonna make this guy slightly inefficient, which means I'm gonna shift his gathering focus to be here. It's fine. Question is, did we find any willow? No, I suspect it's gonna be nearby water and. I didn't really see any water when we were setting up our camp. That might be a problem. Should have enough stone and planks soon for this, but I don't want to rush it. Tanners. That might be an overkill. I'm gonna just keep one. And Fletcher, let's take a look at our stocks. Like we have two extra bows, 80 arrows. Yeah, we have plenty. We could even get another hunter. Let's upgrade it. More people, okay. Slightly running out of space in these houses. 
might even have to build more, but maybe the another tier is gonna allow us to get better houses. Would probably be better. I need to find the velo though, that's the one structure of this tier we won't be able to construct the basket maker. Because there is just no water. And Willow is nearby water. Gonna be a significant problem for us. Heal attacks, yeah, I should. gold is fine. I know. I don't need mm. much else. Night Soul Guy, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's a thing I forgot. Where is he? Yeah, it's there. I'm gonna keep him. There. Predator sighted. Bear. Bear is gonna be monstrous. I think it's gonna kill someone. Unless a hunter can intervene. Attacking my housing. Can I destroy it? No. He's just eating my food. Okay, he gets shot, but not a lot. Gonna escape, most likely. Yeah, that means that we should probably get hunters on this side as well, because this is where the wild animals have been attacking us mostly. There are some boar, so... Let's get a hunter. Even though it's not really great, because we don't have a smokehouse nearby here, so it's gonna put a strain on logistics a little bit. I could get a dedicated smokehouse for this, but that would probably need two hunters to justify that. So this is gonna take absolute ages to do the field, but we have enough population so it happen natural. Can also take a while. What about night soil? Yeah. How many laborers do we have? Nine? It's not that many. Might get some extra plaza. Another predator. Is it the bear? Yes. The same one. He's still wounded. But we do have a hunter. I think he just runs off. Yeah. He's obnoxious. Could get another root cellar. I think our food here is getting kinda full. Get another one there. Our children. We have eight already. And two seniors. Some people are no longer working. Might be a concern like there. It's getting done. This is getting done. Okay, how, did we find Willow? Take a look, but I sincerely doubt that. Don't see any below anywhere. Oh, we never will be able to get baskets, are we?
there might be a way later, but for now we would rely on what we find in the wilderness and unfortunately there was nothing. Yeah, the root solar is quite expensive in terms of stone. This is gonna get done. Take a look how it looks. Definitely better. Let's take a look at the unlocks. Wagon shop. Much of them uh, transport wagons and manufacture. Wagons can be used by villagers to quickly transport goods from one place to another, increasing the efficiency of building, farming, and resource harvesting. Eventually, you will want that. You can buy this hunter, okay. Granary. Wheat and other grains. Copper. Make barrels. 50 planks, though. Gold. For gold. Resources. Apiary. Water. Beaver, candle, soap, charcoal, armory, housing. Maybe you can upgrade houses. Who does it want? Six planks, All right? And Location desirability bonus needs 30%. That's fine. Hey Raider, welcome. To be honest, kind of hard to see which building is which. Also similar looking. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. I guess once you get used to it, it's better. This is all housing. Also, when we upgrade them, they are probably gonna look a little differently. For now, it's just ramshackle that I just basically. So, now we have more things that we've unlocked, but still, I need the willow, windmill, baker, arborist, fruit trees. Medium plava. It wants two by two. Ah, no, 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 no. So what's next? I need the freaking billow and also yet another guy cutting. I suppose we found anything yet. Fish. Billow. All right. How far is it? Insanely far. Food. Forager. Bazaar Road. Let's bring it straight here. Reposition this. And since we cannot really upgrade these guys yet, they also want food types and herbs. How do we get herbs? I guess the forager can actually harvest herbs. But I, I don't think I found any yet. Or at least not close. It's actually a lot of game over here. Greens. Mm. So what a nice old guy. 
composting. It's just one worker. It's not too bad. That you cared. Rising. Going to have to do that are decorations plaza. And it costs a lot of stone. Get new people. Now we are actually yeah, we need more space. So I'm gonna have to do the basic housing. That is it. Sources. Just gonna do stone. Just harvest whatever stone is around here. And some trees, I guess. And we should. What about our farm? It's still not done. And three people have been constantly working on it for a long time. It's gonna take a little longer, I suppose. What's triggering is the baskets, so how long is it going to take us to get this done? Probably quite a while. A lot of clay. So the plazas are going to be enough. They might not be, in which case I might have to delete each house in the middle and replace it with some sort of uh, amenity structure. Makes me think just make these. We have extra space if we need to do it. Just need it. I need the basket guy, also storage. This will do a stocky out here. The basket shop right there. You'll be missing a lot of stone. But some of them are gonna gather some soon. Cholera. Not good. Might die. Or oh, reverse, spread it. Depending blizzard. We do have a lot of firewood. Could be that bad. So how are we doing resources? More children. I'm gonna put a huge strain. Yeah, already a lot of people are not working because they are either infants or seniors. The surplus arrows, bows, boots and clothes. Smoked meat as well. We can store quite a bit. Another cholera. I am cleaning their waste, so don't really be due to that.
blizzard. I have to wait until it's spring, probably. Oh yeah, we have an epidemic guy. What I expected. Somebody also died. It was an adult. In the mirrors. Take a look at our workforce. Yeah, we are not doing well. Our people who are sick, the ones who are supposed to be working at places. What else died? I'm sure of it. No, some of them are just uh, sick. Another death. It's chipping away at my working population. It's the worst. It's gonna take a long time for people to actually mature. Another died, I think, or cured. Yeah, I think somebody died, and it was again somebody from the working population. I mainly need them to gather things. Can I just make sure they only gather what I want? Probably not. Everybody's die. Which it doesn't really make sense that the healthiest working age people are dying, but infants and seniors are surviving that. <laughs> Game is such a bitch. Okay. Yeah, I just killed like half of my laborers. Play as descended in our castle or lordship. Crops ready for assignment, finally we have a field, our very first field. So yeah, you have crop rotation. So what do we grow here? We can grow herbs, right? Flax. Can we grow willow? We used to make linen. Buckwheat. Hmm. Lower. Can we get on to replenish soil fertility in a field? What impacts the fertility the least? Carrots impacted a lot. Can contribute to soil fertility. Yeah. Use in the spring. Beans. We get more. Oh, it's fine. It's like that. Next 
season gonna be lower and Twitch. Means purchase. Yeah, let's try that. If it doesn't work, then yeah, you'll see. Never uh, ever have I farmed before in this game. So, as I said, the crop rotation feature might be a little bit obnoxious. You'll see. So, how are we doing on desirability? Twenty-two percent. Okay, we got some immigration to help us a little bit. The infants are a problem. Hopper would be good. You have the wood. We should get him. Arrows, that's fine. We should have plenty of arrows. Did you collect any of the things I wanted? No, suck. I do suck at life. Okay, let's get it so that he only harvests this. No, it's gonna... Uh, okay. It's the only way to get Willow for me, so let's get a well. Let's get another forager just so that we make absolutely sure they can, they can harvest it. Are growing the beans. Water. Alright, we might need another well. Yeah, this house doesn't have access to it. Can get a well over here. It's gonna be good for some of the work places as well. Going to get houses on this side. Throw that. And then do we have free housing space? Yes. So let's start by removing some of these guys. This house needs to go. Yes. This house needs to go. This house needs to go. But yeah, uh, I can see um, what we are talking about, like coming from playing Stronghold, of all things. I think the buildings in there are actually like fairly easily distinguishable just by looks. While here it looks like it is more difficult to identify the buildings from one another. I'm gonna have to take a look at decorations. We have parks. Oh, the parks are just insanely expensive. How big is it? Oh, yeah, it's absolutely humongous. I'm gonna get one. Yeah, it has a big range, though. So let's get a park. It's gonna cost a lot. But we do have the gold and. Oh, sorry.
Okay, so I don't know how to call. Let's hope they can gather some of this willow. It's gonna be very important if we get some. Unfortunately, it looks like it's focusing on the food things first. So maybe with the two gatherers there, it's gonna actually work. So we build our battle guy. Uh, unfortunately, he would want iron. Cannot get him iron, so let's disable it. Resources. Oh, there he would want clay. You just get an apiary for honey. I think another type of food is a requirement for... Uh, what I want to say, for the evolutions. Might as well. And yeah, let's get an apiary here by the field. Gold has been carried here. Now it wants a bunch of stone. Hope they can make it. Where did it it? Is it the bear? No, it was something else. It died. The hunter had, uh, has gathered stuff from it. Good. Did you finally get some pillow? No. You don't have nice things. Okay. Got our basket maker. Yeah, he's being made. Takes a while. New people. Gonna contribute to the worker pool. But we have a lot of adults, which means at some point you'll probably get a lot of seniors as well. And we have very low educated people among. I'm sure that's gonna be a thing we can do in the future. For now, not really. Did you get any yield this year? Any disease? What did mildew? It does affect the beans. But we did get the vegetables. We have 465 beans from the field. That's good. Unfortunately, we are not able to preserve the vegetables very well, so just have to lay in the root cellar. I don't have to get firewood down here. We have a stockyard here, so I guess we might as well make firewood thing. Getting dumb. Put it up here, right here. of infants. Yeah, this is gonna be built soon. Good. Take a look at the apiary, still not done. Actually I have a bunch of stone, just people are not uh, working very well. 
now this is done. So it did raise the desirability and now they want food types. Well, they should have meat and vegetables and fruits and he want, they want herbs. Mm, okay. What's a vacant shop? Hello, Trington. Welcome. Age of America just finished the Rise of Nations skirmish because I was feeling rusty. And what AI did you play against? What difficulty? What did I want? I wanted something. Yeah, the food is just so strange. How does it work? I suppose they would want bread. Why? How is the food working? Are there categories of it or? Yeah, protein. So they only... No, they should have access to smoked meats whenever they want. They should have access to vegetables and fruits from time to time. So I find it strange they didn't have it. But currently, yeah, they have only only the f uh, only meat. Maybe we get another guy, or even another market. Maybe this would want bricks, so we cannot do it. I just played against a simple moderate AI, and you know what? It still still took me forty minutes to win and gunpowder age. Yeah, so the, basically the same experience I had when I was playing the skirmish map. Even though, yeah, I advanced to modern, I think. I had machine guns. I play with expensive and slow research settings. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I mean, stretch the ages a little bit because it feels like once you get the wonders and everything rolling, it feels like you are just blitzing through some of the ages, not even like taking that in properly. So I think that might be good setting to pick next time if we play skirmish games. And also the, the, the AI is absolutely uh, bonkers on higher difficulties. I, I suspect it cheats, but it's also not bad at decision making, I don't think. Like to stay in the air as longer, yeah. What I thought. Sounds good. Granary. I get, I get granary is good, but uh, the seller should be fine. I don't know, there are many things in this game I don't understand yet. So, can we finally get this? Yeah, there, I need him to do the Velo, that's the only way I'm gonna get it. Because the basket maker is most likely idle, yeah. And he will be idle for a long time. That clover. Yeah, it's just switching. It's years, right? So this year we are not gonna get anything out of this field. I mean, it's fine. I'm gonna, I don't know why the market isn't fetching any vegetables. Oh yeah, you need to enable it? No, it's enable. Maybe it's just the market is having a really tough time. Just get it, but I cannot get another worker to do it. And upgrading it would require bricks. So... I guess another market? It's kind of like banished. Yeah, it is similar. School, now we have, oh, okay, we can make a school. I mean, it's not, nah, it requires clay, which I cannot get. Trading post. I don't want gold, I have plenty. Healer. That's pretty important, but monthly cost of 30 is more than I'm making from the entire village. Rat catcher. 
8. Mm. These things are too expensive. Let's take a look. A market. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it get it here. I guess I'm gonna get remove this road, maybe. Let's have the markets in the center because they suck. Let's go away. Uh yeah, let's get that. And I'm going to disable some of these probably. Like this market is only getting f uh, meat ever. So this other one is only gonna get vegetables or fruits, I think. But this is like larger scale banished and there is combat in this game, unlike banished. It's similar but not really. Sort of different. Can you get the freaking willow? Let's do your work. You've been here for like two years. And I don't think it got a single set of things. Nine people. Can we accommodate that? No. Go away. What are we doing? So many infants are gonna suffer because of this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have valves, so they should be able to fix it. But running inside the fire doesn't seem like a good decision. We need to construct the other market. I know, just. Go away, I cannot afford it. I don't even have a clay pit unlocked. It wants me to do bag and shop and bag and shop is... Uh, where is it? No. Not food, storage, okay, strange category to have wagons in, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna want iron, I cannot get freaking iron, I don't have a clay deposit yet, so getting iron seems like a thing that you would get after you start getting things like clay. Hmm, where do we even build this? Chungus, 3 by 3 just build it there. Since we have another one here, I'm just gonna keep one on one. That's fine. So Willow... Where is Willow gonna be stockpiled in exactly? Is it here? I, s I suppose. We have some honey already. It's just no wax. Alright. Honey is just food item. I think. Doesn't really. No, it's not indicated anywhere. Okay, let's get this market and. Can I switch off everything? No. Uh, in that case, just switch off the meat and the firewood. And fetch the rest. Can I not select multiple roads? No. Oh, 20 stone for this one. It's insane. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna get some of these upgraded, but it's gonna cost me a lot. Did you get Willow? I think they did. Yeah, they did get it. Just a little bit of it, but at least something. Now this guy might have something to do finally. Might get baskets. Stocking basket truck. Alright. 
gonna go there to fetch it. I think I'm gonna do storehouse. Uh, did I misplace it? <sighs> yeah, I did. Okay, let's build it there. So, did you manage to get anything else to these people? Like they are still saying we only have one food type. Just have meat. Meat all day. These guys have it, but they also want herbs. I don't know how to get herbs because I don't think I can grow them. I could maybe just gather them if I found any source of them, but I, I really don't think I did. There is water there. Might be some willow here. Mm. Herbs. Need herbs. Last time I had them fairly close, this time it seems like they are just nowhere to be found. Absolutely nowhere. Mm. Well, that's not good. How do we solve it? I don't suppose we can grow them. Wax is not air. Now we have access to the clay pit. I'm gonna get clay eventually, but not just yet. I have no idea. Or slow. If the herbs are on this map, they are just somewhere like insanely far away from me. So I doubt I can really use that. But they want that. This is the thing I need, okay. We all have a blizzard. Gonna have to do another guy on firewood. How do it get herbs? If the map is mean. Somebody died. Oh no, anyway. Uh, I hope it was not someone from the working pool, but I suspect it was like that, yeah. Only the working age people die in this game. Absolutely hilarious. Mm. And herbs used, yeah, and they gather herbs, but there are no herbs. I guess I can just scan if I'm blind that might show me, but I really don't see any herbs anywhere. These things are green to the other one. If there are no herbs, there is no point continuing this game because I cannot evolve housing beyond level 1 without herbs. And the game says no. Uh, is that... What is that? That's herbs. So we will have to expand all the way over here. Okay. It's... 
cutting through this place again, so we're gonna have to avoid it. Yeah, there are, again, we are gonna have to do two of them, I think. Otherwise, we might not gather anything. This herbs, yes. Gonna have two of them there, and then one of them is gonna shift. Okay, let's first upgrade the house. We got herbs for some reason from somewhere. There, there, there. there. Running off. So yeah, homesteads. It doesn't. It doesn't really offer you any extra capacity. It's not good. Uh, decorations. I'm gonna do another park. We should do plaza, but get another park there. Temporary shelter. Is it just? Yeah, people don't breed if they are in shelter. I think if us. I made a mistake. Ah, okay, let's tear it down. There is no fast way to do this, you have to do it one by one. This seems like a road, but it isn't. Set up. Upgraded some of the roads finally. Clay fairly close, yeah. Let's get it. Iron mine is gonna be pretty important, but I have no idea where iron actually is, and I don't think we we have any idea. <laughs> Haven't seen a deposit on the map anywhere, so uh, unless it's something it's revealed later. No. Okay, we are under attack. Nine riders. Riders spotted. Well, they are going to uh, steal stuff. They all do look the same. It's early access game, so I suspect they might switch their appearance later to make them more varied. Probably would be a good idea. Okay, 
and we somehow actually fought them off. Good. Do this low now. Yeah, that was disruptive. The field, the, the crop rotation is incredibly frustrating feature. I don't like it. Feels like the fields are just useless and when you build them it takes like three years for people to actually like make the field happen and then um, it's just incredibly inefficient. I guess there are ways to optimize this but I cannot be bothered to look anything up and at this point there isn't any information on the game it's still been out for uh, only a little bit. Yeah, I think I just will know both of this. I can even refund it actually, it's not been 8 hours. So probably a good choice at this point. I mean the game has potential, but as it is, I just don't think it's very good. But I might be back with some Caesar later, but for now this is gonna be it. I think I had enough. Take a look if there is anybody we can raid. Like several people. Nick is probably playing uh, the marathon. Raid blooper. Haven't seen him in a while. 